We are inside that profession. Actually, how many architects are in the room? Or student <laughs> architects? More or less 50%? And how many clients are in the room? I know there are a few. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, maybe that's the real problem, right? That we know so well within architecture that we are very necessary, that people need us, but that clients apparently do not see as yet the qualities that architecture represent. And that since architecture has been highlighted, has been presented the last 10 years or so, so much as a kind of stylistic discipline, as something which is only about form, or only about self-expression, are only about the client's personal desires that society no longer recognizes architecture as a key element in solving their issues. But that's a kind of interjection. I go on with my argument. Where we need it, architecture has a chance. Next. And these are the techniques, I think, that architecture can show, and that architecture can uh, uh, demonstrate, and, and, and through which it can regain its position. Intensifying, sharing, combining the natural resources, the public services, the energy, the time, the space, the transport, and the public domain. This is something which goes well beyond producing the next building. This has to do with a kind of strategic mindset, a kind of smartness, a kind of cleverness to know where the possibilities are, where the opportunities lay. Next. And I will go into detail now. Reuse is such a strategy. Reusing what is already existing rather than inventing something from scratch or uh, building something out of nothing. Reusing materials. Next. Like here, the Dutch Architects Office, 2012 architects, who are harvesting, harvesting materials in neighborhoods. They even draw maps where they can find all kinds of materials next and start working with those materials as a starting point for a new design next and build something like this. This building has not been built by any new element. It's all harvested from the neighborhood. Next. Here in the uh, Coutras uh, uh, dwelling by Lacaton Fazal, also an office from France who is very well specialized in reusing materials. Next. next. Or reuse anti-buildings. Next. Don't believe that this building is obsolete, that we don't no longer, uh, that we can get rid of it. Maybe even in these kind of modernist high-rises, new qualities can be found. Next. As in this uh, project in Omort near Rotterdam by Big uh, City Design, where they really, on the level of the ground plan, on the access spaces, on the public domain, they start to revalue and with very small interventions find new qualities. Next. Again, Lacaton Fossil, this is the old building, and they even can make an icon out of the old one. Next. Or reuse energy. Next. Like in this project for Stadshavens Rotterdam, the harbor area of Rotterdam, where uh, uh, the Tupel Strikers architects are very smartly using streams of waste, energy, water, etc. in one comprehensive design. Next. Master City, that's a kind of well-known international example. Next. Zero Carbon City. Next. Reusing energy to such an extent that you are no longer uh, a craving for new oil. You know, this thirst for oil we need to overcome. These are the examples. And then we come to another strategy, densify, next. Like here in uh, the, uh, the project by 2 by 4 architects, where they have found these kind of uh, uh, work spheres, these kind of office spaces, and they uh, project living areas, uh, dwellings, on top of the existing uh, offices, next. And you see uh, completely new typologies come into existence, and, and uh, it's great architecture that is invented, but it's also extremely smart by uh, uh, making a kind of denser environment and no longer relying on this zoning system where you have work, work areas here and, and, and living areas there and you have all this commuting all the time which you really get these two spheres together and you find new environments where people share time more properly there are new spaces space found 
where they can uh, have a healthier environment and where social cohesion, of course, is, is much stronger. Next. And you can find space, for instance, here on, on, the, on the rooftop uh, uh, of existing buildings, uh, which is, uh, uh, of course, for you here in Pristina, a practice that you already are very well accustomed to. <laughs> So I, I, I think for, for the world to learn a lesson from Pristina, maybe lesson number one would be use your space more cleverly because there's so much more space to find than if you are a regular architect waiting for a client to have a new building to build. It's, it's, it's telling me. Right? So I think we take that lesson to, to Holland back and I will make a lot of propaganda for, for that in, in Holland. Next. 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 For the sake of time, I uh, speed up a little bit. Uh, synchronize and recombine processes. Uh, uh, Marcel and Wilma already uh, uh, made a few examples where uh, just by redefining what the actual uh, uh, commission is, what the program is, by synchronizing processes and recombining existing qualities into a new setting, uh, something new might come into existence without much uh, 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 without much uh, 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 reliance on on, uh, on, a new on big energy or uh, uh, materials or the production of uh, completely new uh, areas. I mean the development of new areas. Next. Here for instance is a very interesting project by Von Bert and Kompa Architect. Um, there is this kind of uh, uh, vast wasteland uh, between Rotterdam and The Hague where uh, formerly there was agriculture and that's no longer there, so they need to think what to do with this area. And they have uh, uh, come up with an idea next, to let the locals, the, 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 the citizens of The Hague and Rotterdam, to, to let them grow their own food, their own crops, and even have their own cattle. So the people start to produce food near the city on a small scale, which gives them, of course, something to eat, but also gives them something to uh, to acknowledge the other people, because other people do not, you know, don't, they don't uh, 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 till the land for getting uh, more crops or uh, apples and pears. For instance, they want uh, uh, exotic fruits. There are a lot of Turkish people in in, uh, in Rotterdam. There are a lot of people from uh, Morocco in, in in The Hague. There are a lot of uh, uh, other expats and, and people from uh, Eastern Europe. Polish people are. Uh, nearby, so and they are taking their fruits, their dishes, their uh, uh, cuisine to, uh, not just to the uh, restaurants of their cities, but even to the way they take the land. And this is of course also a way to create social cohesion and to create new value. Next. And it can look nice as well. Next. And more examples where here in this project, next. The proposal is meant to uh, uh, have a kind of generic uh, layout of the system, as you saw in the picture before, where uh, 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 different forms of agriculture, uh, office parks, uh, water retention, and other functions are combined into one logistic system, and uh, the different parties are relying on one overall logistic uh, uh, or, or one apparatus and, and, and saving a lot of uh, resources by doing that. Next. Again, this kind of flow chart which shows how you are reusing materials and, and uh, even uh, can uh, work out a good way to uh, use the waste. Next. And this one last example of this uh, uh, intelligence to, to recombine here a project where uh, an architect, uh, Rietveld Landscape Office, has uh, found opportunity to do something with the superfluous sand that, uh, that came out of the extension of the harbor of Heidnauden. It's a harbor city near Amsterdam. They want to expand, so they had to remove a lot of sand. And instead of uh, taking the sand out of the land and, 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 and export it, uh, he said, well, maybe I use this sand for new dues. So um, there is this economical function of uh, extension of the harbor, but next step is that it can become a, a, a tool to defend the coastline much stronger. And by doing that, it even creates a new leisure landscape. So there, are, there is economy, there is coastal defense, 
and there is leisure economy, and all these are combined into one single 